My name's Dr Ben Schofield and I'm a senior lecturer in the Germ Department at King's College London. And I'm here today to talk a little bit about my research and the next book I'm writing, which looks at a really interesting question. The question of how William Shakespeare, the British poet, that bastion of all things English, simultaneously managed to become the German national poet. And I'm standing right here next to the Globe, which is a fantastic reconstruction of a Shakespearean theatre which opened in 1997. But it might interest you to know that this isn't the only recreation of an Elizabethan theatre or of the globe. And in fact, 350 miles due east from here, so roughly in that direction, there is another globe theatre in a small town in Germany called Neuss. And for me, the existence of these two replica globe theatres really demonstrates how close this relationship between Shakespeare and Germany is. There are, of course, many reasons for this. One of them is to do with theatre history and the fact that while original productions were being performed at the Globe that stood here back in the 17th century, they were also being performed over in Germany very quickly. So you could come and see Hamlet here in around 1605 and within a few months, travelling players would have taken that production to Germany. So Germany became the springboard for all things Shakespeare, the way that Shakespeare was transmitted throughout Europe and then around the Globe. Another reason was the youth of Germany as a nation. In fact, Germany wasn't a nation until the end of the 19th century, in 1871. So before that, Germans had to resourcefully think about different ways of talking about being German. And to do so, they turned not only to their own cultural history, but also to the cultural histories of neighbouring countries, looking for figures that would help them think about what it meant to be a nation and what it meant to be German and that's how they came across Shakespeare. So one of the key things to understand about this story about the German appropriation of Shakespeare is that it wasn't just about Shakespeare as a dramatist, it was also about Shakespeare as a sort of moral authority who could guide Germany on its path towards nationhood. Germans not only turned to Shakespeare in their theatres to talk about what was happening to them, they also turned to Shakespeare to think about morally what it meant to be German and how they could come to terms with a century of totalitarianism and terror. Indeed, even today, Shakespeare remains hugely important and influential in Germany. More Shakespeare plays are performed in Germany every year than they are even here in the UK, and Shakespeare is the most highly performed dramatist on the German stage, more than native German authors. So when you think about the question of how Shakespeare could become the German national poet, what we have to understand is that Shakespeare is not just a British cultural export that we send overseas, he's also a figure that we import back into the UK. A global poet whose influence expands far beyond the banks of the Thames.